how's it going folks yep i'm out again yo guess what the um i've not run out of petrol although i just came out of a petron i've actually run out of gas at home so yeah it's pretty uh impossible to cook anything without gas so again it's given me a chance to bring one of the cars out and today i'm driving my rock and roller still sounds nice yeah uh, these little uh, reprieves in uh, staying home, going out to get essentials, I think uh, that was very, very much welcome. Remember, it's not a curfew. We don't have to just be in the house all the time. Sorry, it's really hot and I just turned on the air conditioning because earlier I drove without the aircon. There's no right or wrong about whether you should drive with the aircon on or off when your car is cold. It doesn't really matter. What uh, A few things I thought I'd tell you today. When it comes to warming up your cars at home, Oh, oh, one more thing. If you're going to cough, <coughs> cough into your sleeve. Yeah, cough into your, your elbow because if you cough into your hand, if you have germs, you're going to leave it all over your hand and then when you open a door or pick up something and then put it back on a on a shelf in a, in a restaurant or, sorry, a shop, you're going to leave your germs on it. So you're coughing through your elbow, especially if you're wearing a long sleeve shirt. Um, I think it's a much better idea. Yeah, so if you're going to cough or sneeze, it's like, Achoo! do it into your elbow. Oh, how's that? Ah. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, in regards to starting up your car uh, to warm it up um, daily, if you're not using it, uh, you need to run the car for at least 15 minutes. And don't rev the car while you're, while you're warming it up, you know. Start it, let the juices flow. But uh, even before you, uh, and while you have started it, sorry, while you have started it, and it's been running for about 10 seconds or so, if it's a manual, put your foot on the clutch, put your foot on the brake as well, or leave, it, leave the parking brake on and um, pedal through the gears first second third fourth fifth back to neutral and then reverse this allows the uh, the oils in the um, in the gearbox the oil in the gearbox to actually move around a lot quicker than if it was just in in uh, neutral if it's an automatic uh, put your foot on the brake because some automatics will not allow you to actually move the gear out of uh, p unless you put your foot on the brake so put your foot on the brake firmly uh, while the engine is running and then again paddle through the gears um, put it into reverse let it stay there for about 10 seconds put it into neutral and put it into D let it stay there for about 10 seconds and if you have one of those gearboxes that has the uh, 3, 2 and L paddle through that as well put it up to neutral let it run for a while then put it back to uh, P okay so that's one, one way of getting the juices flowing in, uh, in your gearbox uh, your engine, the engine oil is already running, your coolant is, should be running through uh, the engine as well, so not a problem for that. So just do that for the gearbox. It's so freaking hot! But you know what? It's really nice to be outside, it's really nice to be outdoors here. Um, loving it. Yes, I've got petrol, but I've run out of gas at home and I can't cook anything, so I'm on the hunt for gas. And uh, I think this uh, Kedai Runchit near my, near my house here in SS5, should have it, I hope, because if not, um, I guess I'm going to be calling Grab Food or uh, Domino's Pizza to uh, to get some food for the rest of the day. But uh, I'd rather cook at home. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a hell of a chef when it comes to Maggie noodles. Oh, <laughs> I am second to none. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully there's some gas here. Um, another thing about uh, warming up your cars once it's you know warmed up or even in the middle of while it's warming up. You might want to just, if possible, drive forward and back just a little bit so that you can um, sort of rotate the tire, sort of rotate the tires, and uh, that really does help because um, don't forget your tires are not totally rubber, yeah. Your tires are not made of entirely made of rubber. There's there's metal in there as well, and sometimes when the car sits too long, not only can the rubber part of the outside uh, flat spot uh, sitting in one place too long the metal within the tire can actually get deformed and uh, that's going to cause your tire to square off and then it's going to you're going to start feeling like why is this car vibrating so much and that's because all four of your tires are flat spotted so in addition to the battery uh, while you know starting up and, and letting the alternator charge the battery you need to rotate your tires and it's very easy you just don't have you don't have to drive very far if you can drive five feet in front of you and five feet to the back, just you know, move the car up and down a little bit, move the car up and down a little bit, then 
come back to where you normally would park and stop, get out, have a look at the tyre. The, the, the part of the tyre that, that has been on the ground for the longest time will have a discoloration on it. Very, very easy to spot. It'll have a discoloration on it. So you don't want to park back onto that spot again. Park onto an, as in the tyre, park onto another spot. So yeah, so I am here out there. I'm here out there. Wow, how surreal. I'm out here looking for gas and I think one of the shops here should have it, I hope. Um, if not, it's uh, I gotta wait more than 24 hours because the shop I normally buy it from has sold out. So yes, lots of people cooking at home, which is good. That's good news. I'm glad to hear everybody's parking their parking their self, parking themselves at home and cooking their own meals. Um, yeah, it's very healthy. So remember when you go out, wear a mask uh, if possible. And um, I'll see you all soon. You all take care. Uh, just a very very quick update. The uh, the roller is doing fine. All the Japanese cars in my in my garage are doing really fine. And in fact, the Italian yesterday is doing really well too. So sounds good. And so the hunt continues. Oh, the Germans are doing well as well. So not 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 an issue. That one drive I took with the one two six was all it needed to um, to get to get it going. I've also bought extra mineral water. It's always good to have more water at home. The um, the thing is not to let your throat get dry. So every once in a while, you you, you should actually drink a lot of water. I mean, you'll be going to the, to the toilet a lot more, but drink a lot of water. It uh, it actually helps. It keeps your throat dry and uh, sorry, it keeps your throat lubricated so that the germs can't get inside. So you know, tough. sorry. So yeah, drink water. And yeah, all will be good. Anyway, you all take care. I love talking to you all. I hope you all are doing fine. I'll talk to you all again soon. Uh, be safe, be cool. Uh, hang in there. It's just another half a month to go, hopefully. And uh, let's beat this MCO once and for all. Take care, y'all. Love ya. Bye-bye.